Dell has updated its whole Inspiron range for 2012. There's a number of changes to the design, like making the corners more curved. It's also updated all models with the latest um, Ivy Bridge Intel processors. Now we're here with a couple of the most interesting models. This one, the Inspiron 14Z, is like a budget um, Ultrabook. The pricing's not been announced yet, but it's likely to be much cheaper than Dell's XPS 13, its first Ultrabook. The basic model comes with Intel's Core i5 processor, but you can upgrade to a Core i7. The basic model also comes with 320 gigabytes of hard disk storage. Now, unlike the uh, more premium XPS 13, you haven't got the option of solid state drive storage, but you do have an option with a 32 gigabyte solid state cache for faster response times. It's got a 14 inch screen, which means it's quite a lot bigger than some Ultrabooks and weighs just under two kilograms. But it does mean that there's room for a optical disk drive, which is something that a lot of people still really um, like to see on their laptops. The ports are fairly minimal, as you'd expect for an Ultrabook, but it's got everything you'd need. There's a USB 3, um, an SSD card slot there. The ports on the left hand side, perhaps a bit unfortunately, are stuck behind some um, little doors to get in. But in there, you've got your HDMI port and your um, Ethernet port. So that's Dell's first Inspiron Ultrabook. And we've also got behind me a couple of new um, additions to the Inspiron range, the Inspiron R range. So these special edition models offer a number of different um, features that you can't get on the normal Inspiron R range. Um, to start with, it, they offer um, an aluminium palm rest rather than just a plastic palm rest. So it's a good, got a bit more of a quality feel to it. You can also add a number of features such as an HD screen, a matte screen, which we know a lot of which members are really interested in, um, and also a Blu-ray drive rewriter. For many more laptop reviews, including results of our extensive lab testing, go to witch.co.uk.